Welcome back to SnowRunner. So I know I said that I would start this up at the Glass Bridge, but um, I just, it's not that far away and it's just straight down this road, so it will only take us a minute to get there. Um, I think this is the last thing we have to do here. I'm not sure. There might be one other thing. So I uh, finished Tales of Iron. Um, that video went up yesterday as of this video going up. Um, but yeah, I finished it and I actually, at the end of the video I was doing like some of the, like the, I didn't realize that like the bit that I was doing at the end with like the bosses in the like what it's called it's like the little fighting arena outside of the um like oh, what's it called the fortress the red fortress or whatever wherever the, the rat kingdom is uh the little like fighting thing where the where the or where the dad dies in the very beginning of the game like the the dad rat king dies uh there's like four bosses you can fight there and that was all added in bloody whiskers and one of them actually is for a trophy and then there when you beat all of them it unlocks a, a room that wasn't originally in the game in the fortress and it's like the, the king's quarters or whatever and you go in there and then you can break down the bookshelf and then go up into like the top tower area and there's another boss up there that's like an abomination kind of thing that like the the dad king made like reggie's dad made and uh you have to fight that and then that's also a trophy i believe i don't know and either way i got basically i got two of the bloody whiskers trophies and i saved clips of all of that and uh i was working today uh as of recording this today on um hold on let me do this real quick and i'll continue this i go to the other side now uh but yeah i was working today on playing through the game on in bloody whisker difficulty and god damn is it hard like holy shit man i'm stuck on the red the red wart boss in the in the crypts I mean, I've gotten really close to beating him quite a few times, but I mean, I've, I was trying it for hours today, like literally hours, and I would get so close, like down to like the bottom, the last quarter of his health, and he's just like, he just kills me. I mean, you pretty much die in like one, one hit. One hit pretty much takes you all the way down to uh, like zero health, so then you get hit again, you're dead, like... You can take two hits, basically, um, but the first hit takes you down so low. And I even have, I'm wear, I've been wearing light armor. I have on um, frog resistance armor, the best I have, and I'm using like the best weapons I have. And it's, it's not that my damage output isn't good or whatever, but honestly, it doesn't really matter what I wear because even with full heavy armor on you still die in two hits so like it doesn't really even matter but i think the light armor just helps because you really need to be able to uh, dodge and move freely and obviously weight plays a role just like it does in like dark souls and whatnot so you have to uh take that into account and i think uh, wearing light armor is just the best because really wearing heavy armor doesn't make a whole lot of difference so that's what I've been doing um, but yeah it's been I mean it's been fun it's just been super frustrating at the same time because it's hard and the only trophy I have really left to get for the bloody whiskers is to be green wart which is the um, leader of the frog clan or whatever 
and so that's like the very final boss of the game and I mean he was hard normally so uh, I was kind of reading the subreddit because like I was trying to find tips on uh, Redwort and m people were saying like oh my god I finally beat Greenwort it took me you know hundreds of tries and took hours and I'm just like oh my god I'm already doing that with freaking red wart and you know I haven't even gotten to green wart yet so I'm gonna keep working on it and I will probably put a video out on that just after I finish it all but um it may not be like right away whatever game I start next will probably be going on and then whenever I do finish Bloody Whiskers I will um just you know put that video together do a little bit of voiceover and then upload it because I'm not like recording any commentary on it I'm just uh I hope I can reach this yeah I'm not recording any commentary on it I'm just recording just the clips like the, the gameplay clips and then I will just do a little voiceover whenever I put the video together it'll be short I'm not gonna make it crazy long I'm probably not gonna include like all of the fights I'll probably include the fight that gets the trophy or the fights that include the trophy basically the two trophies and then obviously the green ward fight but other than that I'm not gonna like you know bother doing all of it because it's just not necessary but yeah uh, I really do enjoy that game it's really fun uh, I don't know what I want to do next I really honestly kind of want to break of hard stuff I thought about doing Hollow Knight because it's a similar kind of game it's like that 2D side scrolling style you know souls like Metroid Met Metroidvania whatever you call them it's type game um but I just, I don't know. I, I need a break from like the really, really hard stuff. And I know Hollow Knight is pretty difficult. So I don't know that I want to do Hollow Knight. I will do Hollow Knight eventually, but I need a break from the real, real hard stuff. So I've really still been thinking about Little Nightmares because I'm pretty sure those are relatively easy. I know the first game does not have a platinum, so that's not really a big deal. I mean, just getting all the trophies is what I really care about because like I said I have the platinum for Tales of Iron I just don't have 100% trophies which bothers me so you know for games especially like that where the DLC was free um, like it didn't cost anything it's just included in the game but it does have a separate trophy list so when you platinum the game you don't have those trophies for the DLC then you don't have 100% trophies and it just bothers me so I prefer to get all the trophies if there is DLC. If it's if you have to buy the DLC, depending on whether I like the game enough, I'll buy it. Um, if I don't really like the game, then I'm good with just the platinum. But if I really enjoy the game, then I'm gonna I'll purchase the DLC and get the rest of the trophies. It doesn't doesn't bother me at all. So I am still working on Assassin's Creed. Uh, obviously, I'm not recording any of that, but I am still working on that. Just in my other spare time um obviously i didn't play much of it today because i was playing tales of iron but but yeah if you have not checked out tales of iron definitely check out tales of iron because it is a really fun game i need to get gas right there's the gas thing i should be able to make it there uh yeah, so hopefully I can... I, if I, I would love to be able to finish that tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm going to try my hardest to get that done. Um, after I finish recording this, I may try again. Try and beat Greenwart and continue on. Because uh, really I'm just kind of trying to run through the game and get Greenwart. Tr or try to beat Redwart and continue on. Because I'm really just trying to get through the game and get to Greenwort. I'm not doing really anything else. I'm not doing any of the optional bosses, none of that. I'm just kind of following the main storyline. So there's a lot more bosses I have to go through, though, before I get to Greenwort. I have to do the arena to get money to buy the gas mask and, like, all that stuff. So there's still a lot. And I really don't think I'm going to have too much trouble 
Green Ward's just hard. He just has a lot of those, like... If you're familiar with the game, or if you're not familiar with the game, there's three different types of attacks other than just, like, a basic attack. There is a a red, like... It kind of has, like, th like, three, like, lightning bolts that appear over the the enemy's head, and it's red. That is an unblockable attack and you have to dodge it just by tapping circle once your uh, reggie the rat will like dash basically and then there is same icon but it's yellow and that is a parryable attack so you can parry it with your shield either by hitting l2 at the right time or um holding L2 and tapping R2 at the right time, and you'll parry the enemy, usually knock them backwards and kind of stun them for a bit, and then you can attack them. And then there's a third type of attack that's like a... It's like a... I don't really know what color it is. It's kind of like a pinkish... A reddish-pink circle that appears over their head. And that is an unblockable and unparryable attack, and you have to dodge it by doing a dodge roll. So you have to tap circle twice to dodge... And if you don't time it right, you'll still get hit by it. And a lot of the times, it's almost just impossible to not get hit by it. I mean, I know it's not impossible. I mean, you can flawless every fight in the game if you're really that good at it. But, like, it's just really hard to time it. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I just came out of nowhere. It's really hard to time it a lot of the times. And a lot of the times, that attack, the enemy jumps up in the air... So, like, you think, like, I can dodge underneath them, but it doesn't work like that. Either the game doesn't have a whole lot of iframes, which is, like, invincibility, if you're not familiar with that term. It's a term that's used a lot in, like, Souls games and stuff like that. When you dodge in any Souls game, Bloodborne, Sekiro, well, Sekiro, you don't really dodge too much, but um, Souls, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Elden Ring, you have iframes when you dodge in those games so when you dodge you have a brief period of invincibility where the enemy can't hit you because you're dodging same thing in tales of iron but i don't think there's very many iframes in it because you get hit a lot when you're dodging so it's pretty difficult and uh yeah i don't know it's it's fun though i do enjoy it and i really do want to do hollow knight i just i kind of need a break from games that um, are difficult because I know Hollow Knight is difficult and I believe Hollow Knight has a bunch of DLC and I don't well I think I have the Voidheart edition from PlayStation Plus I think that's what it's called so that might include everything so again like that's it's included so well even if it wasn't it still wouldn't show 100% if I just platinum it without DLC but um, I'm going to have access to it, so I'm going to want to do it. And I just, I know there's some really tough stuff in that game, like... There's a trophy for, like, doing... It's basically like a boss rush, I think. You have to beat all these bosses uh, without dying, I believe, or something. I don't know, there's something crazy. Or without taking any damage. Some, it's, it's hard, but... I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. But I'll, I'm going to try to find something that's, you know, not as um, mentally taxing. Because I'm telling you what, I was getting frustrated with uh, Tales of Iron earlier. Like, very angry. <laughs> I, I mean, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, I try not to... Oh god, we're stuck. I should not have done that. Alright, uh... Shit. And there's nothing to grab onto. Oh god. Why did I drive in here? Like an idiot. I'm just sinking now. Uh, 
I'm like wedged in here. That's the problem. I need to get my truck out of here. If I can get the truck out of here, I can probably free myself, but I gotta get... Okay, Jesus. That was... Horrible. That should be able to make it through. Right? No? Oh, come on. Seriously? This is the kind of shit that pisses me off about this game. Like, why? I don't care. I'll fucking flip it. Doesn't matter to me. Actually, you know it would probably work. down but this bitch is stuck seriously like look how stuck it is oh my god uh. well this is wasting a whole bunch of time holy shit Pull it out this way, maybe. Yes. Thank God. Okay, there's a, a sign stuck in me now. That's never good. didn't leave. Okay, there it went. God. <laughs> it's weird. That kind of stuff, that, like, honestly, that getting signs stuck in my truck like that almost never happens to me. That's pretty rare. Get this attached. Go pick up the freaking... I really wish I would have gone the other way, 100%. But yeah, if you don't know, if you do get a um, sign stuck in your truck like that, just switch to a different truck that's kind of far away, and it will, like, um, 
remove collision from whatever object is stuck and it'll drop out onto the ground and then you should be fine to go back into that truck as you saw like it it fell out and went on the ground so little tip there if that happens just jump into another truck that's like across the map or whatever and Uh, you should be fine because you saw my truck was starting to freak out. It was like it launched into the air a little bit and um, I lost the cargo that was in the truck. I had to pick it back up So it can happen But unfortunately, I'm gonna leave all that in just cuz you know it shows whatever crazy shit that can happen in the game, but I, I Don't I'm not gonna have time to do anything else anyway. I mean that took probably five extra minutes, but it's not going to make a whole lot of difference because we still have a little bit of ways to go here and cutting that out is only going to save us like five minutes. So, And it's kind of funny. So I don't really feel bad about leaving it in. Frustrating, but funny. I believe I can go across here. It's just funny too, because like this truck almost never gets stuck anywhere, but like you can see it still got stuck. Well, it got stuck there mostly because it was too wide to fit through that. And then of course it was also mud, so it just made it even worse. But... See, like it usually doesn't get stuck in places like this, but it's stuck because it can't get over that rock. Finally. So anyway, back to what I was talking about. I'm I'm leaning towards little nightmares. I'm gonna look up a little bit about, you know, trophy difficulty and whatnot for it, but I might look through my library again, I might look through um, PlayStation Plus, see if there's anything on there. But I don't know. I wanna do something that's not super stressful. I just I need a break from like really stressful games and like as fun as tales of iron was it was kind of stressful it was it wasn't exactly easy to get through the game on the normal difficulty and i can tell you doing it on bloody whiskers is very difficult so you know it's um it's gonna take me a bit i hope i can get it's not a very long game it's just I get stuck on a boss for hours, you know, it just eats up hours of trying to get through it and it just takes longer, so. Like, my f playthrough on normal, I think my time was like nine and a half hours, which is probably on the long side, because, you know, I didn't really rush through it. Um, but I didn't really get stuck on anything for a super long amount of time. Off. It's actually really nice physics on that. It's kind of impressive. Oh, wow. Still wouldn't want to land a plane on that, but... Okay, let's see... Okay, yeah, there is one more thing. We have to do the cistern. But once we get the cistern over here, this is Harvest Corp. Whoops. Man, I always do, I don't know why it does that. Uh, Chicken Coop is Harvest Corp, and Cutting Losses is Harvest Corp. And then these... It's 
Harvest Corp. That's a Harvest Corp. That's Harvest Corp. Um, that's done. And then Sun Sales Technologies, Power Transformer. This is Harvest Corp. Or no. That's Heartlands, actually. So we'll do that. We'll take, because we need to take that. So next episode, we're going to do this. I'm going to actually start it right now. So I, we're going to take this back to Heartlands. And then I'll also pick up that upgrade while I'm over there. But And then when we're in Heartlands, we'll get the cistern and bring it back over here. So that's the plan. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a little short, but like I said, there's not much I could do without getting stuck. I could cut that out, but I I don't really, I don't know. We're just going to leave this episode here, and uh, we'll do Power Transformer in the next, and then bring the cistern over here, and then pretty much have to just finish up Heartlands, or Heartlands, Harvest Corp, and then that'll be it for this region. So, um, I might as well get fuel while I'm here. There's a fuel station right here. So, as always, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And I will catch you in the next episode. Have a good one.